be talking about the 2022 Ford Ranger, the changes that are coming for the new Ranger, and then we're going to get into whether or not it is worth it for you to get the newly redesigned Ranger. And with all that being said, let's get straight into the video. Now let's get into the changes that are coming for the 2022 Ford Ranger. So first off, apparently it is going to be built off of the same platform that the new Bronco is on. So I think that's pretty exciting because the Bronco obviously is, I mean, a really cool vehicle. And so the fact that they're building the new Ranger off of the same platform, I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. But on top of that, right, we're getting the new Ford Maverick next year as well. And so it's cool that Ford's just releasing so many new vehicles all at once. And then also the F-150 Lightning, it's just like... Tons of stuff happening from Ford right now. But uh, if you guys don't know, the current generation Ranger is actually pretty old. So yes, it didn't debut in the U.S. market until 2019, but it's been sold overseas since like 2011 or 2012, sometime around then. And so it's a pretty old truck at this point. And that's why there's some elements that are kind of funny in it. Like the taillights are massive because they weren't originally LED lights, but Ford had to use that same housing and turn it into an LED light. And so that's why the taillights on the Ranger are so big. Uh, and speaking of taillights, it sounds like the new one isn't going to have taillights that are nearly as large and crazy and all that. Uh, but basically, exterior-wise, uh, they are going to change quite a bit, right, with the front-end styling. It sounds like it's going to look a little bit more like an F-150. They're going to do, like, C-shaped LEDs. And, uh, again, it's just kind of kind of look like a baby F-150 in a sense. And then same thing with the rear end as well. It seems like Ford is trying to just do, like, a company-wide um, design, basically, with their vehicles. And then, aside from that... Just like with the new Bronco, it sounds like it's going to have coil suspension then if it's built off the same platform. Now again, this hasn't been confirmed. They might still stick with leaf springs because the new F-150 still uses leaf springs except for in the Raptor. But with the Ranger, they might end up making that switch, right? It does give you a better ride quality and then also makes it stay more planted. It's just harder to get a, a lot of payload out of that system. So we'll see what they do with that. And then on top of that, they might uh, be increasing the payload and towing capacity slightly. But the Ranger already does quite a good job with those two factors. And so I don't imagine those will change all that much. I mean, the Ranger has more payload than some half tons. So it's, it's good from that perspective. Now... Aside from the exterior, uh, let's get into the powertrain and then go to the interior. So with the powertrain, it sounds like they're still going to offer the 2.3 liter four-cylinder. So in the Ranger, that produces 270 horsepower and 310 pounds of torque. But we know that they can get that engine more power and torque. You guys know I have a Ford Focus RS. It has the same engine and it's got 350 horsepower and 350 pounds of torque. So Ford obviously could bump up the power and torque figures with that engine to make the Ranger a little bit crazier. Or what they could do is they could throw the 2.7 liter V6 into the truck, which they might do for a different package. I'll talk about that at the end of this segment. Now, aside from that, the Ranger will be getting Ford's new infotainment system. So like the gigantic screen in the F-150, they might be throwing that in the range, which is pretty exciting on the higher end models. And then overall, it sounds like they're just going to redo the whole interior. So uh, nicer materials on the dash, the door panels, the seats, all that stuff. And again, the bigger infotainment system. And we might actually get a full digital gauge cluster on the higher up packages with the Ranger as well. So basically... It sounds like they're stealing a bunch of stuff from the new F-150, which I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing to do. I love the new F-150 interior. I love the tech. And so if they throw some of that into the Ranger and it's at a more affordable price point, I am all about it. Now, aside from that, pricing will be going up uh, slightly with the new Ranger. So expect any of the packages, the packages are going to stay the same. So expect any of the current packages price-wise to be a little bit more with this new 2022 Ranger. Now, aside from that, let's get into the exciting stuff quickly, and then we will finish things off by going over whether or not this truck's worth it. So, in terms of the exciting stuff, they might finally be bringing a Ranger Raptor to the U.S. So, they do sell it overseas, but I believe it uh, has a diesel engine in it for uh, the most part with that Ranger Raptor. But if they sell it in the U.S. market, this is where they might integrate that 2.7 liter V6. So in the new Bronco, if you guys don't know, the 2.7 V6 produces 310 horsepower and then 400 pound-feet of torque, which is great. And throw that in a mid-sized truck, and that is fantastic. Like, that's tons of power and tons of torque. And on top of that, right, if they add... Uh, a Ranger and they add the wider body with it and then they add the active suspension that you get like in a regular Raptor. I mean that would just be an amazing truck and I really hope the Ford does this. Now I'll probably make a standalone video about the Ranger Raptor but just to like summarize quickly why I think this truck would be so important in my opinion. 
is it would add a real performance truck to the midsize truck segment because yes you have off-road trucks in the midsize truck segment like the gladiator rubicon and mojave and then you've got right now the ford ranger tremor for example and then you got like the uh, frontier pro 4x and so on and so forth but there isn't really like a true performance midsize truck there's not a mid-sized truck that accelerates quickly and then on top of that you can drive really fast in off-road circumstances like some like the range of tremor for example you guys saw my review on that i could drive pretty fast but it's not the same as like a raptor and so if they do that i think it'll fundamentally change the mid-sized truck segment because we'll see more automakers going and making trucks to then compete with that range of raptor and then the other thing that I think is pretty cool is it'll make a Raptor a lot more affordable. And so I think more people will get into that Raptor type driving because right now the Raptor is pretty expensive, right? They're 60, 70, $80,000 plus. And so it's kind of nerve wracking to take a vehicle that expensive off road and beat on it. Whereas if we get a Ranger Raptor that's significantly less, less expensive, like maybe the starting price on it is in the $40,000 range and fully loaded it's in the $50,000 range. That's a lot easier to swallow if you go and take it off-road and, you know, go down trails really fast and jump and all this stuff to be on it, right? That's, I think that would be just absolutely awesome. I don't want to stay in this too long because I need to just make a full video about the Ranger Raptor. But yes, I hope they do that for this new Ranger. That'd be awesome bringing it to the U.S. market. And I think it would fundamentally change the mid-size truck market because be bringing a true performance truck to the mid-size truck segment. Now, is this new Ranger going to be worth going for? I think it's going to really just depend on what they end up changing, right? If they release this new Ranger and it has the same power and torque figures and the payload and towing capacity is about the same, but they update the interior and the styling a little bit, then I don't necessarily think it's going to be worth just jumping right into if you currently own a Ranger because your truck is still going to feel like a nice truck. It's still going to be really capable. The new one will feel a little bit nicer, but it won't necessarily feel so nice that it's just worth jumping into. But if they actually end up increasing the power figures for the 2.3 liter engine and they give us the option to get the 2.7 V6 and they add a Raptor variant and on top of that they change enough of the suspension that it drives significantly different than the current Ranger, right? You don't get all that. If, if they do the coil suspension, right, you won't get all that um, motion with the back end, especially when you take it off road that you get with the leaf springs in the current Ranger. And so if they make enough changes and on top of that we get the added tech and updated interior, then I think it'll really be worth it. Uh, and yes, being built off the same platform as the Bronco is pretty cool. And so yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it. Now compared to the other trucks, you guys know that I really do like the Ranger and the biggest reason why I like the Ranger compared to a lot of the other trucks in that segment is first off, it actually has uh, usable power and what I mean is you get into a lot of the other mid-sized trucks and most of them still use naturally aspirated engines and most of them just don't really have all that much power. Now the Ranger right isn't a massive amount over what some of the other mid-sized trucks have but because it's turbocharged and because of the setup they have with the 10-speed automatic, it actually feels pretty quick for a mid-sized truck. Whereas like you get into a Chevy Colorado for example or a Jeep Gladiator and you floor it and you feel like nothing happens. And so I still think that if they make these changes with the Ranger and if they slightly increase performance, it'll still be pretty much one of the best mid-sized trucks, if not the best mid-sized truck you can go for because it's got really good performance, payload, towing capacity as well. And it sounds like they're gonna make the interior even nicer so it'll feel a lot nicer. I think it looks good from an exterior styling perspective. So overall, it's this really nice, capable truck that's actually fun to drive. And so, yeah, I definitely think that the new Ranger will be worth looking into, hopefully, right? They give us more power and they give us a little bit more capability and hopefully they give us a Ranger Raptor. That would be absolutely awesome. I seriously would consider purchasing a Ranger Raptor because having a truck that has some form of active suspension like you get with the Raptor's live valve in a small truck that is not crazy expensive i think that is so exciting now that's going to sum things up for today's video going over the new ranger and whether or not it is worth it as always if you're stopping for the first time i'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe comment down below what you guys think